how a high value woman listens to her gut. <laughs> Hello Swans, I'm Yvonne, your marriage and divorce coach here at Black Swan Relationship Academy and today we're going to look at how a high value woman listens to her gut. We all have that gut feeling, you know, um, you can't put a finger on it but you just know something isn't quite right. It's our feminine intuition that each and every one of us have. It is that um, radar that let, warns us, you know, something isn't quite right turn back or you know um something there's something about this person um you know um for whatever the reason is i don't know about any of you but um have you been somewhere and you've met someone they haven't done anything they haven't said anything all that's happened is that you've been introduced to them but something about them something they said something they did that you did mm, not because they had but you can't put a finger on it it's that feminine intuition it's that radar system that kicked in to say beware they haven't done anything the chances are you probably, you know, I know when it's happened to me and I've been in contact with them um, because, you know, whatever the situation is, and I've seen them periodically from time to time. Every time I've seen them, what I tend to do is to take a step back and, you know, let them speak, let them do what it is, you know, that they've got to do so I can listen out as to what it is my gut is telling me about them because just the... A uh, fact that you hear, mm, there's something, you know, that little bell that goes off in your head. Sometimes that isn't enough for us and we want to delve in and, you know, find out more. And one way that we can do that is by if the person is around you, um, just listen. Listen to the way they speak. Listen to what they've got to say. Listen to how they present themselves and know where it is that you, um, if it's the case of that you're having to work with them, say it's in a work environment and you've got to work with them, then know how you adjust to accommodate them. It could be somebody that you may have to report to. And every time you have to go to report them, there's this feeling of dread on the inside of you, but you cannot put your finger on it. And you know that they... In your head, you're telling yourself, you know, get over this, stop it. But you're still feeling this sensation of dread every time you've got to go to them. One of the things that I can advise you to do is, you know what? Speak to somebody. Speak to somebody who can give you some insight into why you're feeling this way. Because that radar is going off for a reason and we don't trust it enough. We don't trust it enough when we are, um, you know, um, meeting new people for the first time, you know, if you are, uh, you've been in a relationship for a little while and unfortunately it's come to an end and you're now going back into dating again and you've met somebody, you know, the chemistry seems to be right. You've, um, you know, he's saying all the right thing. He's presenting in the right way. Uh, you know, you are getting ready to go to on the date, but something is not quite right. You don't know what it is, but you push on through and you get ready and you go there and you know you turn up looking your oh so best he gets there and as a high value feminine woman you uh, turn up for your date um he sees you come in and he stands there with his hands in his pocket and he doesn't open the door for you and you think okay red flag let it slide um you let it slide you go in you uh talk he um, you know, he, you're having a conversation with him and every time you open, you know, your mouth to speak, he kind of shuts you down and, you know, says something and you think, oh, and, you know, when um, the waiter brings over, um, you know, comes to take the order from uh, you for, you know, whatever it is that you're having, he looks at you and says, you know, what would you like, uh, madam? And he speaks up and, you know, cuts you off and makes his order first. You're here on this date and you're thinking to yourself, so that's what it was about. 
it was about the fact that you're not high value and because you're not high value um you know a person that i'm looking for this is why the warning lights this is why the red flags kept on coming up when i'm now in your presence and what was um, my senses and my gut was trying to, um, you know, warn me of is you're wasting your time here. And so, you know, this is the reason why we need to listen to our guts because we truly can save ourselves a lot of heartache down the line. When the, the thing about intuition is, intuition isn't a um, a bell that ding, 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 you know, danger, danger, danger. It doesn't do that. It is very gentle. And because we know ourselves and because we know how our own mind op operates, we also know when we hear that voice, when the hairs go uh, up on the back of your neck, when you are going somewhere that you haven't been before and you're a little weary, most of the time when that happens, you tend to turn and you go back. If you're with someone, you're with your boo, or you're with another girlfriend you you tend to kind of stick close to them because you know what i'm not really sure what i'm you know entering into here so one of the things that you um you know we sh really should do is to listen to our guts more because when we listen to the our gut it truly gets us out of sticky situation it can get us out of a situation that you know we had no business being in but because we didn't listen we ended up there and it was just the grace of um you know a uh, god that enabled us to come through it was uh do you know the universe was actually um you know, working with us this time to enable us to bypass something that could have truly happened. It is very important as women to, for us to listen to our guts, because as I said, it can truly um, get us out of some dodgy situations. I've been in a dodgy situation before where somebody was speaking to me and I didn't hear what the person was saying because I had other things going on in my head. It was a really uh, traumatic time for me at that moment and he was a gentleman um, who was nowhere near high value. It was somebody that I wouldn't have um, otherwise looked at but he jumped over a barrier and just came and, you know, did toe to toe with me to have a go at me for not responding to something that he said. And my first reaction would have been to, you know, how dare you and really wanted to tell him about himself. But the look of this gentleman and that little voice in my head said, be still, be quiet, speak gently. And then I, um, my, after hearing that, what I did was I apologized and said, I am so sorry. I've got so much going on in my head right now. I thought I heard something, but it sounded like it was coming from afar. It wasn't someone speaking to me. I didn't mean to disrespect you. And the gentleman said, you know what? I could see you're busy. It's okay. You go and have a nice day. And I walked off and my knees almost buckled under me because I was truly frightened because I really thought he was going to hurt me some way physically because he looked at the time. Is it that um, had I not listened to my intuition and wanted to be wrong and strong, then, you know, things could have ended a lot differently. I could have ended up being hurt. And the only good thing for me about that was where we were, there was a police station right across the road. And so what that has done for me um, as I have gone through my life is to learn to trust my intuition because when it says, mm, and when I hear something that says, are you sure? When, you know, the hairs on the back of your head stands up and you ask, you know, what's going on? on why do I react this way then I speak to somebody if I am not sure I speak to a friend and say look this is what happens every time I'm in the you know the presence with this person this is what is going on and you know get their take on it just in case you know am, am I um, being oversensitive or you know am I not giving them you know the right opportunity and do you know nine times out of ten it's not being oversensitive it's not you um, not wanting to comply or you know to engage with them it is that your senses are sane 
there is something not quite right here be careful of them it is not saying don't ever speak to them again but what it is warning you to do is to be careful because there is a potential threat may not happen to you today but it could happen somewhere down the future so do pay attention um, you know to them listen watch and learn and when you do that then if the person you know they will out themselves in the end and you know um it when it happens you probably won't be anywhere nearby you just hear about it because you did what you were supposed to do you worked with them you uh, behaved in the way you were supposed to because everywhere you go you're not just feminine but you're a high value and you set standards for yourself and regardless of who how they behave you don't lower your standards you continue being professional in everywhere you are and they do um, you know something triggers them and their true self actually comes to the forefront and you didn't have anything at all to do with it all you did was just you know continue being your lovely self so if there's anything that I've said that has resonated with you and you want to know more about listening to your um, you know your feelings why don't you go on the um, black swan relationship academy go into the shop and check out the emotional um, mastery mastery uh, masterclass I always struck a with that word emotional mastery masterclass where it will teach you how to identify your feelings and how to deal with them and part of that is how to deal with you know your um, gut feeling your your feminine intuition check it out and see if there's something there that uh, you know that can aid you in making right judgments when you're meeting new people also what you can do is uh, if you haven't done so already why don't you subscribe if you have thank you um, subscribe share um, make a comment and hopefully I'll see you next week you have a great week everyone see you next Saturday take care bye bye <laughs>